In an earlier clip we've shown that when f is a constant on some interval a, b, then the derivative should be zero for all x in a, b. Now we'll prove the converse, which is not as obvious as you might think. Well, suppose that the derivative of a function equals zero for all x's in the open interval a, b, then f must be a constant on a, b. This is a very important theorem, as will be clear in due course. So a proof goes as follows. Suppose we, yeah, suppose that x1 and x2 are two elements in a, b, the open interval a, b, such that x1 is the smaller one of x2, of, of both x's, so x1 is smaller than x2, then we know that f is differentiable on the open interval x1, x2, right? So if f prime exists for all x's in the open interval a, b, it exists in particular on the open interval x1, x2. Yeah, first, we know that f is differentiable on x1, x2. And also, f is continuous on the open in, of the closed interval x1, x2. Yeah, this is merely a result of the differentiability on the open interval a, b, which contains the closed interval x1, x2. Yeah, being differentiable, differentiability implies continuity. So now, as a result of the main mean value theorem, there exists a C in x1, x2, such that the derivative in C equals the slope fx2 minus fx1 divided by x2 minus x1. So fx2 minus fx1 equals x2 minus x1 equals the derivative in C. But the derivative in C, since C is chosen in the interval x1, x2, it must be zero. Okay, but then the fraction fx2 minus fx1 divided by x2 minus x1 should be zero, and since x2 minus x1 is unequal to zero, it must hold that fx2 minus fx1 equals zero, or fx2 equals fx1. So now we move around x1 and x2 through the interval a, b, and then we'll see that the function should be con uh, uh, constant on the open interval a, b. Well, as a corollary, we may um, say the following. Suppose we have uh, two differentiable functions on an open interval a, b such that the derivatives are equal. Well, then we may show that the difference of these two functions is just a constant. So f x can then be expressed as g of x plus a constant c. And this holds for all x's in the open interval a, b. Well, the proof is rather easy. Just use the difference of f and g as a new function, as a help function. So we define the help function hx equals fx minus g of x. Then take a derivative, so h prime x, since h is deriv uh, just as differentiable as f and g are, we may take a derivative for any x in the open interval a, b, and then we'll see that this derivative should be equal to zero, as it is the derivative of x minus the derivative of g. So, by virtue of the theorem above, we know that h should be a constant on a, b. For some c in r, we know that h of x equals c. But then the, deriv the difference of f and g is a constant. So we know that fx equals g of x plus c. 
which we needed to show.